I'm very happy to hear that uh, the Ocean Shield and the Bluefin 21 has been uh, redeployed yesterday. Um, tomorrow in uh, the Australian Parliament, they're going to table the way forward. Uh, on Wednesday, I will be tabling to the Malaysian Cabinet uh, our plans, uh, trilateral uh, arrangements. The, the point that we're looking at now is that is deep sea search. Uh, the point that we're looking at is assets that are very specialized. The point that we're looking at now is uh, sharing of costs. Because in the past, there was no talk of dollars and cents. I think to be fair to our partners, it's time for us to actually uh, look at it more uh, seriously <coughs> on the issue of sharing of costs because it might be for the long haul. As far as the families are concerned, uh, uh, there have been so many requests for so many information. Um, there, at the beginning, it was um, the transcript of the conversation, and then you've got the uh, cargo manifest. So I'm trying to put across an argument that if you do, if you do want uh, information, let it go through this panel of experts that we have established. And if it doesn't affect their uh, investigations, by all means, we can release it. But uh, the point is this, um, any information that we, are, we release will not stop speculation. What we want to do is to get down to the truth. And we have all the experts in the world looking at it. So any uh, uh, points that uh, they need more information, because it will never end. Everybody wants to know. Uh, from uh, the landing and landing at the beginning, to the oil slicks in the South China Sea, to the satellite images from China, to life rafts, to the vibe fest. We haven't, stopped, we haven't talked about the flying carpet and the coconuts yet. So basically, uh, when it comes to speculation and information that we release, uh, it opens up more questions. So I'm not going to be uh, responsible for that because that may affect the investigation. May, that may affect the sex search operations. And they may affect the emotions of the families involved, giving them false hope. Bay of Bengal is just one example of, one, of, uh, of, of a request for us to do that. And if we did go to the Bay of Bengal, we would have lost 14 days. It would have been very expensive. And what if it was found to be negative, like all the other leads that we have followed up? So basically, we have to be responsible in this. Um, and if there are any requests, we have set into place uh, an expert committee that involves NTSB from the United States, AAIB from the UK, CAAC from China, you've got uh, AAB from France, uh, you've got Boeing, you've got uh, Rolls Royce. <laughs> You've got practically every expert in the world who wants to know what happened to MH370. No, great opportunity. Let them decide what uh, more information that we can make public.